that. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you come in. Hey, fun stuff. Ah, glad you made it here. Been expecting you. Well, not really, I'm just lying. But, uh, <coughs> if you've clicked on the link, you've seen that I've made a video, and, uh, I, that this channel is made for my projects. I thought I'd give you a little overview of what I did. Uh, the short film that I'm going to be talking about is available on my Stoneheart Bread channel, link in the description for that video, and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you how I did it. Attention spoilers. Well, before we get started, would you like a beer? A nice cold Guinness, extra stout. Oh yes, nothing better. Well, actually there is, but uh, this is pretty good. Mm. But enough product placement. Let's get down to the business. Oh yes, I made this video as a joke. Um, and how did I get about it? Well, I had been invited to uh, Logical Troglodytes 500 sub, and this is a shout out to Logical Troglodyte for inviting me because nobody else in this community invites me to nothing. I'm not complaining. Well, yes, I am. But uh, anyways, uh, yes. I was getting ready for bed. Yes, I work nights and I go to bed in the middle of the afternoon. And uh, I laid down. And then my uh, stream with logical came through my head, especially this part here. Uh, I had a, a colleague of mine a few years ago, two or three years ago, had mentioned to me that everybody believes in a conspiracy, you know, no matter how minor, we all believe in at least one. And I was racking my brains and racking my brains as to what I might believe in that way. And uh, when I mentioned that on the uh, on a Discord chat with Jen Morgan, then we got into a real interesting conversation. Because uh, you want to tell everybody a little bit about that there, Jen? Well, I don't remember the conversation in, in great great detail. Um, so we'll just kind of start it anew here. The, the, the whole idea of a conspiracy theory is is just beyond my personal way of thinking. Um, I was raised in an educational system that taught us critical thinking, that taught us to not disbelieve everything out of hand, but to check up on your sources before you believe everything. Right. Um, and when and when your sources are things like NASA, are things like Harvard, are things like uh, Cambridge in England, or, or the entire European Union, these are respected bodies that that if they are saying something i'm going to i'm going to believe it i'm not going to believe it out of hand um but i'm not going to discount it in any way just because it was brought to me by an authority um i mean i i was a hippie you know i i thrived on the concept of of uh, question authority don't trust the government and there's there's a bunch of stuff that stands behind that that makes me think that maybe I shouldn't trust the government. Um, the, the CIA really did do some terrible things with drugs and stuff in Southeast Asia. I know because I know some of the people who actually did it. But that doesn't mean that everything the government says is a bullshit or should be disbelieved. Um, and this is what could easily lead up to like global warming issues and, and that sort of thing. But conspiracy theories are are the playground of the of the simple-minded, as far as I'm concerned. 
Um, and even if an educated person falls into it, there's something about their critical thinking skills that lives on the playground of simple mindedness. Yeah. Not. I don't know. What, what do you think? Yep. Uh, yeah. You you kind of nail that on the head. Uh, Anna Flatter, Anthony, I haven't heard from you guys for a little bit. Uh, what do you think about all this? Is there any conspiracy theory that you might subscribe to, even if it's a minor little thing? Or is my colleague way off base? The only conspiracy oh. theory that I subscribe to is it's the worms. The, the worms? worms are just causing everything, yep. Because if all humans die, it's a worm fest. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I was wondering where you were going with that. It's like, yeah, I'd be scared there for a minute. <laughs> I really hope that one of my favorite video games had a conspiracy theory behind them. Oh, yeah. See, I disagree. It, it, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Uh, you, no, Blue Earth just uh, threw something out about a conspiracy theory being in a video game. No, no, no. Worms. It's not a video it. game. Oh, Worms. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I remember video that game. one. I was like, oh, I, I thought I, knew, I was kind of excited to hear a conspiracy theory about it, my, one of my favorite video games. Oh, I, mean, I see. <laughs> I mean, if you've played that game, that's a hilarious implication that there's a conspiracy theory surrounding Worms. Yeah. <laughs> see, what, what, what I was going to say is that it's not the Worms. Um, the largest organi organism on Earth is a, is a fungi um, that lives underground below trees and is 28 miles in size yeah isn't that a truffle um no no it's 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 just a mushroom i guess it's parts of it are in northern wisconsin and minnesota and other and other places but it's normal people would have jumped up out of bed ran to their den their office or whatever and started writing down everything uh what they needed where they're going to go what they're going to do and maybe even a script uh, but I'm not normal people. And me, I stayed in bed, tossing and turning for the next three and a half hours, letting all that stuff go through my head that uh, most other people would have wrote down. Because of my work schedule, I have a hard time. Day, I don't have much time during the day to do anything. So I would have had to wait till Sunday. And unfortunately, the weather was bad on that Sunday and for the next couple of Sundays afterward. But I knew I was having vacation pretty soon and I could get it done. And well, uh, my vacation started on a Saturday. Sunday, I chilled out, didn't do much of anything. But then Monday morning came along and I started getting my stuff together cameras, my drones, packing it all up and heading out. And I am at uh, zero dark 30, uh, getting ready to tackle the hill that lays before me. Now, uh, this is a little bit of a trick. You can't uh, drive your car up to it. You have to park down and walk up. After about Mm, I don't know, kilometer or so, I get to uh, where I need to be. The sun's coming up and it's starting to look very good. I set up my cameras and I set up this one to for exactly this purpose, to show you what I did. Now I'm going to let it run a little fast because it looks funny. And everything was fine. Um, for the first scene, uh, where I was walking through the woods where you see my face, um, I didn't have a selfie stick, so I had to improvise. And what I had was this. It was a mini tripod with a camera holder. And that held out at arm's length and set up at night, somewhat 90 degrees, gave me that view that I wanted, you know? That close up, you know, just like a selfie stick. And then was just a matter of setting up the other cameras. Well, one camera let me down, it's one of my action cameras. 
uh, this had this problem of sucking juice even though even when it's not on so I got up to where I wanted to be was turning it on and voila no power so I had to make do with what I had a couple run throughs with that side view stuff you'll see it in the video uh, and then I called in my second team and my second team is my DJI Spark DJI Spark had a mode in it or an app uh, that says follow me and you can set that you get that in your in your in your monitor and press on your target which would have been me and whatever distance it is from that target it'll stay from that stay that distance if you walk towards it or you walk away from it so I use this as my second team as my boom camera so to speak there is a small problem with that it is if anything gets in between you and that boom camera uh, yeah it loses you and well then you have to go back and get its attention and <laughs> try to walk more. As I was reviewing this footage, I noticed something. I looked damn familiar. Ah, uh, yes. No, I got it. But anyways, <coughs> after that was all done, it was time to go up to the tower. Oh. Running through the woods is no big deal. It's a, you put a camera down, you run away from run one and run towards the other. You do that a couple times and voila. Uh, when we get up to the tower, it gets a little bit more complicated. Several scenes or several different camera angles. One as I'm coming out from the woods at a higher level, one coming it was supposed to have been coming out of the woods at a lower level and then using my second team as a pan camera but as you see here I guess I set my spark just a little bit too far away and well It hit a tree. No damage to the drone. Everything's fine. So we carried on, or I carried on, and went into the tower. Now uh, that was a little bit of stuff too, as you'll see from this little montage. Up the stairs, down the stairs, up the stairs, down the stairs.
I can tell you for that last cut, uh, I may have been exaggerating a little, but not a whole hell of a lot. For the scene up top, well, I had this scene where I had my DJ, I Phantom, uh, for the window scene. And Actually, there's a thing in the DJI Phantom for point of view where I can get it to circle. If you've seen some of my other videos, you have seen that in action. And I want to do that again, but I was having a problem with the compass. And being up there on top of the, the tower, there's this big metal uh, thing in the middle which shows you the distances to look. Uh, villages that are in sight and that was uh, just the way I couldn't calibrate the compass so I had to knock that plan out and be satisfied with just using the spark and the spark does not have a point of view if it does have a point of view I can't find it um, anyways I think the shot turned out pretty well and that's about all I'm going to tell you because I don't want to spoil it all that much. You'll have to look at the short film to find out what they and them were. Hey, thanks for being here and thanks for watching. And we'll see you again. Mm. Good stuff.